<laughs> oh man all right i think we're okay to just next turn over here um uh, you know some wonders have been built by some people uh when we last left things off natural wonders faith purchases although yeah that we i think we already did that we already did that we discovered a crater that's going to be fine so we do have a Hagia sophia we are building if we don't get it, it's not the end of the world um it used to be the end of the world if you tried for a wonder and missed it's the end of the world but the fact that now you get to roll over your production to something else makes it a little less painful still not ideal uh, but at least there's a reasonable chance we might be able to get that one. Um, Erotical here, I'm going to see if I go, no, if I go production focus, it doesn't change the math yet. But maybe we can get some builders over there. Um, not that we really have a lot out there. We're going to have to do something. Hashtag main for livestream haircut. Ha! Uh, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Nothing else. I'm going to want to do it in the uh, the kitchen so that it's a lot easier to sweep up all the hair. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit next turn. <laughs> Hashtag perm? Ah, uh, probably. What? Oh, you're yelling at me because I don't have much culture. That's true. And you like people who declare friendship. We do have four alliances. We're playing a very diplomatic game here. In fact, it's entirely possible we actually might be able to actually backdoor a diplomatic game. Um, we can get more diplomatic power if we keep uh, vassalizing city-states. And um, we do have a good relationship with all of our number neighbors. Hey, Craze Guppy. Thank you very much. This stream is my substitution for a birthday party today. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm sorry that, you know, birthday parties are not a thing in 2020. It's, pr it's pretty miserable. It's pretty miserable, but at least we're all miserable together. And isn't that really what brings a, a sort of a society together, a culture, you know, your own personal tribal group, your family, your friends? It's about that shared misery sometimes. Shared joy is the preferable one, but at least, yeah, we can all relate over there. Uh, so playing Coast Hill is actually a good example of considering what we might want to do next. First of all, it is on the border with Straya over here. Um, and if we didn't have good relations with them, we might be incentivized to set up some medieval walls. Um, it does have an encampment. Uh, so getting a barracks is nice because it does give you the production and the housing, which is really nice. We are short on, on the housing. But do we just start on a holy site ASAP? Um, and I kind of feel like the answer to that might be yes. Do you have a campus? You do have a campus already. Okay. Um, I think I think it's actually a good idea for us to do this. Um, as far as I can tell, these two sites will be relatively equivalent. If we ever put another district here, there would be an extra plus one science to this campus because it would be adjacent to two other districts. That's still how it works, right? They keep changing the rules on me all the time. But I think it's going to be okay. Oh, my, my chat stopped scrolling. There we go. Misery is the new verb. <laughs> Misery loves company. Do, do, do. Uh, actual pacifist play. I, it might have happened before. It, it's pretty hard to do on deity because usually you have to bring the pain to one of the deity AIs to equal things up. But not always. Uh, this Inquisitor over here is hurt. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to take this Inquisitor, move him out. Do we have any religious units to boop? Well, there is over here, although we can't reach him right now. Let me move you out that way. You're going to uh, come back over here. How do, Okay, how does the, unit, the uh, Holy Unit healing work? Is it in and adjacent to Holy Sites? Like, you don't heal in friendly territory or cities, right? You have to be in or adjacent to a Holy Site? Someone will probably be able to clarify for me somewhere in there. Um, major defeat. Why so badly? Why are their apostles so goddamn strong? Oh, also, this is not our, uh, oh shit, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna remove heresy of this city. Anyway, to flip it. Oh, because it's not actually in my territory! I'm like, what are you talking about? Of course he's in my ter- oh. He's not in my territory. Because there's a gap. Okay, that explains it. Well, I'm happy I didn't just, like, blindly right-click on him. At least I checked the numbers. Like, what? Are you crazy? Of course he's in my territory. How could he not be? Yeah, we could buy the tile, but I, I decided... I mean, doing the conversion action over here was fine anyway. Uh, we've got you. Oh, yes. This guy, I think his job is just going to be to sit here and basically just annoy the AI that might not be able to pass through this tile. Um, 
I was going to say something about vision. As long as we've got uh, the vassalage over Nagarzagar over here, we don't really have to worry about vision, but it's still an okay spot for him to be. Please mind the gap. If he's still in that tile next turn, we might consider buying it so we can boop him. Now, can we double tap him? Can we hit him with this unit? Yes. Okay, lovely. It's going to be a major defeat. That's probably okay. Yeah, it's just about the same either way. I don't think order of attack is going to matter. The river crossing stuff doesn't matter. Can we finish him off with this one? Ooh. I think it's going to be a coin flip as to whether or not it survives. Hmm. That's a little bit annoying. Can I get more? Let's get another. We don't need unlimited amounts of Inquisitors because it is just for defense. But we will get another. And then hopefully he doesn't run off and we can just finish him off this turn. Is there a zone of control for Inquisitors? Um, yeah, that's fine. I don't think there's a zone of control for religious units. But I guess I would have seen it if I was moving around there. Because I could have moved this guy to come in behind and just box him in. But All I don't think that's a romances. thing. Hey, Dan Roloth. Um, when you get older, things get worse. Like memory, wisdom, and memory. <laughs> um, which one of these is my least likely to do? Probably if I uh, killing something with a knight. So I'll hard research military science. I mean, at some point, we will have to accept that we might not Eureka some stuff. Oh, there's some military spawning over there. Do you have... um? No, we don't have an upgrade for the uh, swordsman, unfortunately. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this trader out to Radical, which is building a wonder, and then we can use it to give it a production boost. Um, there we go, attack here, and that will finish this guy, eliminating some Buddhist pressure, increasing Twitch primalism, and also just eliminating a unit who would be otherwise annoying. Did anyone clarify where are we religious units heal? Um, Civ 6 Religious Unit Healing. Can heal religious units by sleeping them in or adjacent holy districts in your own civilization. Okay. Doesn't even have to be in your territory, apparently. It can be in someone else's territory as long as it's still adjacent to one of your holy sites. Okay, that's good. So you're going to sleep there. You are going to move to here. And um, rest and repair. You are fully healthy, and there's nothing for us to actually convert with the inquisitor at this time um this one here is injured i guess we'll have to oh there's another holy site over here yeah you'll be moving there later um and as for you oh there is a unit over here we won't be able to attack this turn but we'll get in that position we'll just cancel that movement as well okay and see what we can do I just want to confirm that adjacent to holy sites work, and also that just inside a city didn't. I was pretty sure that all those things were true, but it's one of those things where if you have that assumption and it turns out to not be correct, you are going to completely screw yourself up. Uh, let's get more holy sites going. Yes, please. Um... I think I'm going to buy and build here. I mean, a plus two versus a plus one. It's not a world of difference because we're going to get more uh, faith from the buildings itself. Um, I mean, maybe I want to use the money for something else. No, I think that's going to be okay. And I don't think I'm going to build it here because we're going to be forever replacing the temples and everything if we do it over here. Um, I guess the other thing to consider is district adjacency. Yeah, see, we get plus one from district adjacency. This over here might at that point... I actually don't know if entertainment districts get district adjacency bonuses because it would be adjacent to a city district and us um i think the answer might be no for an entertainment complex doesn't actually say anything over here it might not get any adjacency bonuses Right, if we compare it to a commercial hub, yeah, see there it says that. So I don't think it does, so I don't think we have to worry about adjacency play. So I think I'm going to buy and place it on this tile over here. And I also get combat bonuses next to districts. Uh, that's possible. 
All right, trade route here. What we're going to do, and someone in the chat asked what the uh, the better trade route mod does. It gives us uh, more control over sword ability um, and things in here, which is very nice. Uh, you can have mo multiple priorities to sort by and things too. So what I want is I want a production boost in Rodical so we can build this a little bit faster. Um, ooh, this is actually quite tempting. Um, so we get the maximum of three production from sending it internally to the only Shen. We get plus two from Brisbane, which is clearly less, and two less food. On the other hand, that's a lot of money, science, and culture. It could also help level up our, um, alliance. I think I will send one to Brisbane. Yeah, hopefully we can get more, uh, send it to me, says the only Shen in chat. Do -do -do. And today make, uh, gives adjacency bonus to culture districts, but don't receive adjacency bonus. Okay. Wish there was a speed difference when a trader had been done before. There is theoretically like a gold and distance bonus, right? From little uh, trade route buildings, trading posts, is that what they call? Yeah, trading posts. So there are some things there. As a cool man uh, city looking, we'll take a look uh, relatively soon. That's in flooding happening over two here. Kinds of problems, small ones and large ones. The small ones will I like go this away quote. by themselves, and the large ones you will not be able to do anything about. Love it. All right. Let's let's clear everything and reconsider where we're at. So military policies. Right now, I mean, to me, I'm thinking right away conscription because I don't. We're not doing any upgrades. We're not building encampment buildings. We're not building walls. Uh, so I mean, conscription's sort of a no-brainer. I think our loyalty is okay. I think what we want to do is retainers here for the amenities because we do have a fair amount of garrison units. We'll try to make sure we've got one in every city, and we'll get some freebie amenities. It'll be nice because we'll get a little bit of a boost. So that's going to be quite swell. Um, we only have two trade routes, so caravan trees is a little questionable right now um i think we want the um i think we need religious orders for the religious combat strength because i think we're gonna just have to keep that around in general and then i think we need as much faith generation as possible so i'm thinking scripture the thing is we can get a lot of science from natural philosophy what we need is a government that's got a lot more economic policies i think if we're going to focus on our religious game which I mean, it's sort of where we're at. We're going to run scriptures over here. Um, we do need some spies because they're quite good. We Although, hold on. Let's run Visselbanken over here because I did send that trade route to an allied city. So this is going to give a ton more food and production to the city that is running our uh, building our wonder. So I think that's going to be a good idea. Now for a wild card policy, of course, I mean, we could put an actual wild card thing over here, which I generally want to do usually the great scientist one, but I might want to run one of these others. Um, the simultaneum for extra faith might be the way to go. Um, this is like, I don't think this would have as much of an effect as the adjacency bonuses right now. Um, trade confederation might be nice because we do have the international trade thing or natural philosophy because we do have ludicrous adjacency bonuses for our campuses this is worth a lot of science um because i think this number still includes the science from the natural philosophy before i went and reset everything it's too bad it's not broken out by itself it must be included in the others i feel like we have to run natural philosophy here yeah Although it's our culture we've got to get up, so, you know, theater districts. But again, i got to build holy sites first, so, you know, what you're going to do, right? Um, I think we'll do this. Oh, maybe it wasn't factoring this in, because it did just shoot up by, like, 10. So that's quite a lot of extra science. All right, medieval flares, I guess we're going to start on that, since we've got nothing else we can do over there. Over in Calliope, we've got basic walls. We probably don't need much else. Um, holy site. I can't buy these tiles right now. Although in seven turns, the border is going to grow. Tell you what, then. Let's just go ahead and get ourselves a water mill um, in Calliope. And then we can work on the holy site afterwards, which is going to be okay. Damn, this guy moved out. And what we need, what I'm going to need is some, um, I'm going to need some apostles to be able to do religious warfare outside of our borders. Um, I want to keep my religious units in pairs because they're going to be better able to kind of boop stuff. Although I think right now I will move this guy over here. Um, you're going to rest. And then I think over here, I'll move over here. We'll have kind of a scattered defense in case he moves west again. Well, we don't have any money to buy a tile right now. 
we spent it I think fairly legitimately to expand something else. Uh, all right, we sent our Tagma out a lot while ago to do some scouting stuff. I might go ahead and bring you home. Um, and speaking of which, um, again, let's try to make sure we've got a unit in every single one of our cities so that we can take advantage of the plus one amenity thing. I don't know if this counts. Amenity from Civic 1, so it probably is counting that one. Uh, it still says 1. Do we get an amenity from anything else? It might have just not updated. No, the only Civic that gives us a amenity is Retainers. So it must be getting it from the ship. I'm going to leave it out for a turn. Yeah, oh, Saturday, originally I was going to be able to announce it today, but it got the, the announcement got pushed back a day. No, look at that, we did go to zero. So the um, the ship is uh, counting as a garrison unit for the purpose of, uh, of the thingy, which is nice. Move here, and then boop. And boop him to death. Excellent. And chill here. I still wish that there was an alert mode for religious units that would wake up if a religious unit of another uh, of another religion would show up. Okay, you chill there. You chill here. Uh, I didn't have mushroom pizza, but um, your, your mushroom pizza food talk got me really hungry. We ordered in, we actually ordered in some poutine. What I decided is I really wanted something cheesy, so we got some poutine uh, instead, and it was glorious! Very glorious. Nobody expects the Byzantine Inquisition. Exactly. I'm not running out to deal with these barbarians because we don't really have the units um, right now to deal with that. Uh, okay, you don't need to heal here anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move you into Rodical because it's got a few other angles to maybe respond to religious incursions. Oh, this one here might be coming towards us, actually. Well, let's just wait on that. And you are going to go here, and you're going to go here, and you'll just rest until you're healed up again. And I guess you're going to move there, because we took that. How are we doing? Okay, everything's good here. Whenever you say Putin, I think you're a Pokemon game. I know, right? Bidoof. The put Putin, the Bidoof. Bidoff? Bidoof? I don't remember. I don't know the Pokemans that well. Or kills religion's core values. I don't know if you're asking, like, for real in the game or just as a joke, but we do have Feed the World, so shrines and temples provide food and housing because we were thinking we'd grow a little taller. Stupas provide amenities, same thing. Grow taller instead of being expansionist. Scripture is just very, very powerful. And then tithe because uh, money turns out to be pretty good. It was a traditional putin. Yeah. Just, you know, proper brown gravy, dark brown, lots of flavor, and cheese curds. Um, yeah, we'll get the workshop. We've got another title available. So, we've got Citadel of God. All Governor's units fu heal fully one turn in tiles of, the, of this city, wherever he is. Uh, purchase districts with faith. Apostles and warrior monks train the city, receive one extra promotion. Okay, so let's go with Patron Saint. And then wherever Moksha is, that's really where we're going to want to spam our religious units. Now, currently, that's in Cool Man Chaos. Uh, which should be fine. And indeed, we are going to... Ooh, maybe I should get the stupa first, actually. Yeah, let's faith by the stupa so that we can get more faith. We don't have quite enough for a second one. But yeah, Kuman Chaos is where our apostles are going to be born, because they'll get the plus one promotion, which is going to be really handy. Hey, how's it going? Neutral right now. So yeah, we got denounced by by Norway because I think they don't like the fact that we don't have much the way of a navy. Um, although militaristically, I feel like we're fine. We actually got quite a few troops and we built, admittedly, mostly just the medieval walls, like the older walls. I guess ancient walls, actually. Um, but 
I'm I'm think I'm I'm still fairly comfortable with that. Um, if we wanted a holy site over here, drown tiles. I don't think you lose the districts. Does anyone remember? I feel like districts prevent you from losing a tile from drowning. So I'm thinking I'm just going to put a holy site here. Admittedly, we could have a plus one adjacency, like here without buying or there. I mean, I guess we haven't actually improved this tile. But at least this one has, like, purpose to it. They get pillaged? You do lose the districts. Okay, it's wonders, I guess I'm thinking. Wonders you never lose. Okay. So I'm just going to build it on the tundra over here. It's a crap tile. It doesn't have the plus one, but that's going to have to be okay. Okay, I'm happy someone said something, though. Again, there's, like, so many little interactions. I don't remember what they all are. Um... Let's let's send you down to Rodical as well, so that we can start pumping more production. Now, there had been a religious unit moving around. Oh, it's down here. So it's probably going to move through my territory somewhere over here. So let's move and get a little closer and be ready to boop them. Dump liquid nitrogen to the ocean stuff. Sea levels from rising. We need a big ice cube. That's what we need. All right, we've got a couple of envoys. We've got a bunch at zero. Actually, I should run. Okay, I'm gonna cancel this. In three turns, I'm gonna change my diplomatic policy for a bit, uh, or maybe my wild card policy. I'm gonna run the thing where we get two envoys for the price of one, because apparently we've got a bunch of outstanding stuff uh, to do still. Um, let me cross and attack from here because it's going to make it a little easier for more of our units to actually move up and engage. Alright, go back to hang out over here, I guess. So, trade route over here. Again, we're looking for production. We do have bonuses to international trade routes for allies. And in fact, that would be a different one, which would give us a different way to level up another alliance, which is going to be kind of nice. Taj Mahal, Halicarnassus has been built. Okay. Um, duplicates. What are, I wonder what we have duplicates of for luxury resources. We have two truffles. Is there an easy way to find a total list? Um, not here. Um, oh yeah, no, this is like it's garbage and annoying. But okay, we do have. Oh, that's two bananas. Um, copper jade. Jade is luxury source. So duplicates of jade we would like. Duplicates of sugar would also be okay, in terms of luxury sources. Um. I know. We'll go Jade. I'll just upload it like a couple of ticks to help with some tiebreakers. Uh, this, I don't particularly care. I don't know. Religious outcomes. Well, we don't really trade with them. We don't trade with any of these guys. So I'm not going to bother voting it. Yeah, we have multiple bananas, but um, they're not luxury sources. They're bonus. Ooh, Amber got selected. Bye. Wow, someone dumped a ton of votes into this. Six over here. Oh, that was... Well, two of us chose Jade? Wait. Oh! Duplicates of... Wow! Duplicates of Amber give nothing. Not that they give more, they give nothing is what they voted for. Okay, sure. Get booped. There and rest. Uh, and you're fine. Well, I'll move you over here again. Okay. Yeah, they chose B. Mm hmm. Volcano becomes dormant. Oh, okay. Was that our first Pop 15 city? Oh, it's Pop 10 city. Uh, Big Ben has been built. 
Well, the AI doesn't always build that because it's a little tricky for placement. And you can end up over here. Rest and repair. 